there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, August the 9th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And it's been hot here across central Alabama, but nothing like Phoenix. 33 days this year, over 110 degrees at Sky Harbor International Airport. That ties to the record for the most number of such days there in Phoenix. And uh, I think they're going to smash this record. This is the next... A uh, week or so off of the National Blend of Models every single day coming in at over 110. So this record is going to be in their rearview mirror very shortly. Nothing like that here in Alabama. Uh, middle 90s, that's warm enough, uh, you know, approaching 100, maybe a little over 100 in the heat index range. But um, we'll be cooling off as we go toward the middle and end of the week as uh, moisture levels increase, showers and thunderstorms become a little more likely and uh, we'll take that. This is the upper pattern across North America, showing that big uh, heat ridge over the southwestern United States. Uh, low pressure moving through the Midwest, uh, bucking up against that big uh, ridge over eastern Canada. A correspondingly big uh, uh, trough over northwestern Canada here in Alabama. Just, uh, just a kind of a mundane pattern of weak high pressure. Uh, nothing special. These heights are going to be lowering. Moisture level is going to be increasing coming days. That means uh, better rain chances than we've been seeing here in Alabama. This is uh, the HRRR's uh, depiction of what the radar might look like around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. If you're lucky enough to be near one of those cooling showers, uh, expect uh, uh, you know, a quick drop in temperature, some gusty winds, and lightning if you've got a thunderstorm in your neighborhood. Uh, we're in a northwesterly flow here today, so we'll be watching storms that may form over Tennessee that may drop into northeastern Alabama. Uh, they appear to be uh, on the horizon. We'll be watching that closely. The GFS bears that out. Uh, this is this afternoon uh, on the GFS showing precipitation mainly over the Tennessee Valley, northeast Alabama, and uh, that's about what I would expect. Doesn't look a lot different from Monday. More hot humid conditions, middle 90s for highs, scattered thunderstorms developing during the afternoon. Now, moisture levels continue to increase. Perceptible water values go up above normal. This doesn't really show it for Tuesday. It shows it's fairly dry, but I think you'll see increasing rain chances on Tuesday even. And then on Wednesday, probably even Tuesday night, some showers and thunderstorms into Alabama. Front trying to slide down from the north. It won't be successful. Uh, after all, this is August in Alabama, but um, it will help to trigger or at least concentrate those rain chances. So we'll see likely rain chances by Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and into the weekend. We'll go uh, all the way out to uh, 300, and this is 378 hours. This is uh, the morning of August 24th. Um, still expecting something to be going on in the tropical Atlantic by that point. Um, you can see the Bermuda High sort of displaced to the east. Uh, nothing really going on uh, in an organized fashion. Another wave coming off the African coast. Low pressure there uh, off Central America. We'll have to be watching that closely. But what we know is that the uh, Madden-Julian oscillation, something we watch very closely, will be pulsing upward at this time. And uh, we'll be going into a very active pattern. Of course, August 20th is uh, that period that sort of kicks off the real active part of the season in the Atlantic, and it's going to be a wild ride right on through September, I fear. Wild ride on Weather Brains Monday night. We're going to have a bunch of folks in from the Miami Valley of Ohio, centered around Dayton, where they had a big tornado outbreak in, uh, on Memorial Day 2019. We'll be talking uh, with several meteorologists uh, who covered that event from the Weather Service broadcast met and even the insurance side. It's going to be a very interesting show. As uh, always, when we uh, talk about it on Weather Brains. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday morning. I'll have notes on the blog, an update on the forecast around noon. Uh, we'll be uh, tracking those thunderstorms that move across Alabama this afternoon. And until next week, when we get together again, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.